know, I, I, I'll never forget when we first started Idea Financial, we had a group of folks that were doing our credit for us. And they brought a lot of the old thoughts and the old habits of other companies to, to us. They knew we're trial lawyers. They knew that's what we did. And they wanted to restrict lawyers from being able to get any loans at all from Idea Financial, make them a restricted industry. That's common in the entire Sim industry. I similar think. to, you know, companies that do pornography, strip joints, like vices. Like they wanted lawyers yeah. to be in that group because so many other companies that provide small business lending have just completely eliminated law firms from the ability to get money. That's how they were trained. Which is ridiculous. So, I, I maybe it's because they're afraid lawyers are going to sue them. I don't know what the reason is, but in my opinion, and I know that you agree, there, the risk that you take in loaning, a money, loaning money to a reputable law firm is so low. These are folks that not only are they trained to, to, to respond to the ethics bar of their own state or their own jurisdiction, but most of them run very solid businesses with great cash flow. It's just that many underwriters don't understand the cash flow because it's not like a widget you're selling and you're not creating right. revenue on a regular basis. And because they don't understand that, they've completely eliminated them. So the few folks that actually do provide financing to law firms, they have the luxury to just take their time and do whatever they want. And charge astronomical rates. Ridiculous stuff. And, but, and, and ask for life insurance, like yeah. you said before. You know, ask them to do things that are so out of the norm for small business lending that it almost becomes insulting. But lawyers will just sit back and take it because yeah. they don't have any other options. Well, what, because, you know, compounding what you're mentioning is that just conventional banks don't like to lend to lawyers either. Because they don't understand so, them. So you have the regional banks, the local banks, the super regionals. They're not lending to lawyers either because they don't understand the, the peculiar nature of a plaintiff's practice. And also, they, the biggest problem for the banks is they don't know how to place a value on really the only assets that, that the law firms have, and that's their unrealized fees from their contingency cases. Right. And it takes, I think, a lot of expertise to be able to do that properly. It does. And, and it I, scares the banks. And there are some good folks out there who provide lending to lawyers, but they take forever. You know, so one of the benefits that we provide to lawyers is, first, we're lawyers, so we understand them. Second, because Idea Financial, and this is really important to understand, is that in small business lending, if you can't get a loan to the, to the small business owner in a day, somebody else will.